praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, right now, there is someone that is laying in their bed and they're listening to me speak to their hearts right now. You know this word is for you. And another that is driving in their vehicle and they are hearing this message. Yes, this message is for you also. I am speaking to my children. I am speaking to those in their living rooms. I am speaking to those that are walking, even doing exercise while they are hearing this message. I am speaking to my children and I am telling you to stop and quit overthinking and replaying back failed scenarios or feeding the self-doubt or seeing the good in everyone else but yourself. Yes, you deserve more and I want to give my children more than they could even give for themselves. I am calling you in this hour to submit to me. I am calling you in this hour to trust me once again. I am calling you in this hour to go deeper than you've ever been before. Get up and fight for I have your back and yes it is time to fight the good fight of faith because it is worth fighting for your healing your deliverance your peace your breakthrough your miracle your salvation your prosperity your purity your sanity your relationships your spirituality your family your ministry your business your education your anointing and yes even your relationship with me. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. We thank the Lord for what he is doing. The Lord will take care of all things that are troubling you. Jeremiah 21 verse 11 says, For I know the plan I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God always keeps his promises and we can count on it in a world where we can't count on much. God's promises are faithful and true. Isaiah said it. He said, God always does what he says he will do. What promises are you holding close to today? You can count on with God. He keeps his promises. According to Isaiah 25 verse 1, O Lord, I will honor and praise your name for you are my God and you are such a wonderful things that you do. You planned them long ago and now you have accomplished them. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each person here, each person that is going through a lot of stress at this particular time, a lot of anxiety. Lord, I thank you that you know the future, you know the present, and you know the past. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You said, come unto me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, you shall give them rest. Heavenly Father, I pray that the peace that the spouses all understanding would also come to guard their hearts and their minds in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, you would remember Remove that yoke upon their shoulders today. Lord, every care, every worry, everything that they cannot control. Lord, where they are looking back at the past mistakes or what could have been, would have been, should or should have been. Heavenly Father, I thank you from today forth, Lord, that they will start to stop overthinking or replaying failed scenarios of where they could have improved or how things could have changed. Lord, I pray as they are feeding that self doubt that that would stop today in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, that they would start to see each other and their own lives as you see them. Heavenly Father, I pray that as they release this burden today, that you would fill them with your love, with your peace, with your joy today in Jesus' mighty name we pray. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you've liked this post, then I encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already or forward to a friend that they may be blessed, especially one that you know is going through a stressful time because God is speaking to his people in this very day. God bless you from my family to yours. Shalom, shalom, shalom.